Welcome to these videos on teleportation. I've broken them into three parts. Welcome to video two. Some years ago, I was training some believers to go deeper with God. And they were on a course. And then at the end of this course, they would go to another country to go and love and help people and tell them about Christ. Now, I'd enjoyed being with these people for a week and equipping them. We had a powerful time. When they were away, doing their time abroad, I had a desire to teach them more. Like, there were some things I hadn't quite finished saying, and I thought they would be so helpful for them while they were on their trip abroad. And I had this strong sense of love and a desire to impart that to them. So I actively focused on them, prayed, and if went in my spirit to teach them, hoping that somehow they would hear in their spirits and pick up what I wanted them to hear. The next day, I received a message through social media saying, Paul, were you with us yesterday? Several of us dreamt of you teaching us, and we compared what we heard, and there were similar things in what we heard. We then seemed to see you with us momentarily while we were praying for some people in a group. It's like we saw you, and then you weren't there. Then you were, then you weren't there. Is that possible? Yes, that's possible. Another situation was when I was dropped off at an airport by a couple to get my flight home. And as they left me, I suddenly had this desire, oh, I'd love to give them a gift. They have been such a blessing to me. And they've poured out of their resources and time to help me do what I do. I'd love to bless them financially. Ah, oh, but I've probably missed them now. I found some money that I could give them in their currency and asked my colleague to look after the bags, and I raced after where I thought they'd gone, thinking I'd probably missed them, but here we go. They said they were going to stop off at the bathroom just before they left. So I raced towards the bathroom. To my surprise, I was there quicker than I thought, and I stood outside the bathroom waiting. I thought, oh, I've probably missed them. I can't see them going in. And I'll, um, perhaps I will wait and they will come out. And as I thought this, I turned round and there they were coming towards me. And I thought, wow, that's strange. Did I overtake them? And I handed them the money. But they were looking surprised and shocked. I gave them the money and then I said goodbye again and walked back to my colleague. And I was thinking, that was strange. I didn't, I don't remember overtaking them. There wasn't many people on the way. How did I get ahead of them? As I was thinking this, I received a message, a text message from this couple who were now obviously driving home going, did we just witness a miracle? You suddenly appeared in front of us, like out of nowhere. What was that? I believe that when you have a desire of love, it opens the door for things like this to happen. And I would say they were supernatural, but in a sense they're not, because they are normal. They are the capacity that is within us and in our consciousness, along with the, the power of something we would call the spirit, that is the consciousness of God that is around us, and in a sense, it is normal. These things help us love and carry out the loving purposes of God. There are two mechanisms that go on within us that begin to open the door for this to happen in our lives. The first is desire. It's more than a choice to want this in your life. It's wrapping your whole being and fibre of desire into it so that it pushes through things. But it's a, 
you know when you start to have it within you. Jesus put it like this. He said, where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. If you desire and value something, it will shift you into that space. If you desire to be free, to break out of the bounds of physicality, to be able to move your consciousness to other places, even sometimes taking your body with you, in the service of love, in the service of the purposes of God, then that's a requirement, that's a necessity for this to happen. If it happens without that, that's accidental. But to walk in this, to go from it being a mere accident, a mere gift that you receive occasionally, to walk in it, that has to be woven into you, that you've understood that you can break the bands of physicality, and you're desiring to move like that. You don't just want to be earthbound. And the other one I would highlight would be faith. Now, faith is an inner mechanism that we use where we hear and feel the vibrational character of Creator God who says something is possible and opens it up to us and I internally step into it. I rest my weight on it inside. I go, I trust what you've released over me, and I step into it. Again, it's a hard one to put into words, but you know when you're beginning to step into the pathway of faith. It's not a religious thing, although that is associated with religion, that word. It is a deep heart mechanism. Where I not only hear the word of God, I don't just read some Bible and go, I believe that. I actually catch the nature of God within it. One of the biggest pictures of faith that Jesus said was when a centurion came to him and said, would you heal my servant? And Jesus said, I'll come to your house. And he said, you don't need to come to my house. Just speak the word and he'll be healed. And Jesus marveled that he had such faith. He had grasped emotionally magnetically, spiritually, the presence of the one he was standing in front of and could acknowledge, you just move towards it, Jesus. You say it, and I trust it will be. If we seek to have these two things working together, desire and faith in our lives, and, and we move in this direction, we let go of anxieties and fears because we're trusting that the Spirit is leading us into His purposes, His ways, and our heart is growing in love, then we can safely step in and position ourselves for more on the edge of our seats, hoping, waiting, expecting that we will be equipped in this way, to do the things we're meant to do. If you've enjoyed this video, then you'll find the link to video three here and down below.